This is question 18. Here we're told that the sketch shows a curve with equation y is equal to k multiplied by a to the power of x, where k and a are constants and a is greater than 0. We're then told that the curve passes through the points 1, 7 and 3, 1, 7, 5. And we're asked to calculate the value of k and the value of a. So what I'm going to do to begin with is I'm just going to substitute in the coordinates that I know into this equation and then inspect uh, the two equations and see if there's a way that I can and try and solve them to find values of k and a. So what I've got here, let's substitute this one in first. I know that when y is equal to 175, so y is 175, that that is equal to k multiplied by a to the power of x, and x here is 3. So 175 equals k a cubed. Doing exactly the same thing with this coordinate 1, 7, I can say that y, which is 7, is equal to k a to the power of 1, which I'm not going to bother writing um, because I don't need to. So what I've got here is that 175 is equal to ka cubed and that 7 is equal to ka. Now what I've got is I've got, an, I've got a simultaneous equation really because I've got two values I'm trying to find and I've got two uh, pieces of information about what uh, two calculations with those values. So what I need to do is I need to try and eliminate one of the unknowns. And what I can spot is that in both of these equations, I have got k multiplied by a cubed. So in order to eliminate these, what I could do is if I were to divide these two equations, the k's would cancel each other out. So what I can say is that 175 divided by 7 will be equal to k divided by k, so they will cancel each other out, and then a cubed divided by a to the power of 1, which will give me a squared. So that means um, that a squared will be equal to, so let's work this out, uh, 175 divided by 7, um, which is going to give me uh, 25. So I know that a squared is equal to 25, which means that a will be equal to 5. So I now know that a is equal to 5. And what I should know is that with any uh, simultaneous equation, as soon as I've got one of the values, I can just substitute that into one of my equations and then solve to find the other unknown. So I'm going to, just going to take a equals 5 and substitute it into uh, this second equation that I wrote down. 7 is equal to ka. So 7 is equal to k multiplied by a. I now know that a is equal to 5. So I can say that 7 is equal to 5k. And then from there, what I can do is I can then just divide through by 5 and say that k will be equal to 7 divided by 5, which gives me 1.4. So, final answers here. Value for A is equal to 5. The value for K is 1.4.